So the way I do my meal plan is I have the days of the week here. I also like to do the weather and I like sort of drive it sunny, partly cloudy, raining, whatever on there. Um, I like to sort of do it on that as well, whether I'm going to make something nice and warm or if it's nice sunny, I might do a salad or something. But today is Monday, so we're having suicide, mashed potato and cauliflower and obviously the beans. And I just put a note on there this morning when I did my meal plan up to do the spuds for Tuesday's dinner, which we did. So Tuesdays will be pork, rissoles, mashed veggies and gravy. Wednesday I'm going to do burritos. They'll be with some leftover pork that I've already got in the freezer. So I'll get that out tomorrow. And then Thursday I want to do a chicken curry just with some rice. And Friday I'm going to do a chicken stir fry. I was going to do the beef stir fry with the noodles that I got, but I've got some chicken thigh in there, so I don't know, just see what I feel like. I might swap it around. I'm going to keep it pretty simple though. I've only got like one capsicum and some onions. I don't really have much else veggie wise, so I'm just going to keep it simple and easy and because it's Friday. Um, Saturday, I was going to do meatball subs again, and Sunday, I'm going to do the roast chickens that I bought, or um, the chooks that I bought from Aldi rather. I'm going to do roast chicken, veggies and gravy, and then that will give us meat for lunches as well. So, pretty good menu. It's Monday night and I am doing the silver side. So, I've just put it in the pot, filled it up with water so it's covering it. And I've put a splash of white vinegar in here. I've put two bay leaves, a whole carrot that I just chopped in like bits. And a brown onion that's chopped in four, and some peppercorns. And I'm just going to put the lid on and it will cook for about two hours. It's like just uh, about quarter past four at the moment. So it'll be a good timing for dinner. My silver side's nearly done. I've done a big pot of cheese sauce because I'm going to freeze. I'll probably get three, probably three bags of cheese sauce to pop in the freezer. And in my steamer, I've got cauliflower and I'll put some beans in there as well. I'm just going to do carrot, but I can't be bothered peeling it. I'm just trying to work on tomorrow night's dinner as well. And we've just got the potatoes in this pot boiling, the mashed potato, and then I've got these ones peeled, and I'm just gonna leave them in the lunch box. I'm just gonna put the lid on and leave them for tomorrow, and they'll be ready to just chop and do the same for mash for tomorrow night's dinner. I've done the mince for pork rissoles for tomorrow night. I've just got this big lunch box here out. I'm going to make them up and put them in there so they're ready to go. So I've got a kilo of pork mince in here. I've got one brown diced onion. I put a beef stock cube in here, some salt and pepper, a big heap of that garlic from the jar. And I've put like just some herbs, like Italian herbs in here and some basil. And it's been in the fridge for, I don't know, about half an hour, but it's not gonna matter because it's gonna have time to get the flavors all through it while they sit in the fridge tomorrow. So all I have to do tomorrow when I get home from work is just to pop some more veggies in the steamer, which I'm just going to use the frozen ones out of my freezer, and do some gravy and chop the potatoes up. So it's going to be easy to do dinner. I forgot to say that in the meatballs, I also put some breadcrumbs with some milk in it. It was a bit of a mix of just normal breadcrumbs, panko, and I had some herbs in there. It was just a bag that I'd done up that I keep in there now for when I want them. And I also put some barbecue sauce in here and it's made 369, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's made 20, so that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna pop the lid on that and put them in the fridge and they'll be really good and full of flavor by tomorrow, Arvo. So for my mashed potato, I've got some cream here that I opened the other day. So I'm gonna use this for tonight and tomorrow night's mash. And it's going to be extra delicious and I'm also putting some real butter in there and some salt and pepper. And I'm obviously just going to mash it. So this is the dinner once it's done, but I'm going to put cheese sauce over it. I want to show you now because by the time I put that on there, it's just going to look like a plate of white. <laughs> and this is what it looks like with the cheese sauce. So it looks like a very white plate. Finished making lunches. I made... Oh god, six rolls with silver side and that for hubby and the older son. 
I did a chicken avocado lettuce, cucumber wrapped with scarlet, and younger bloke's got little wrap with chicken avocado, and I put cupy mayo in theirs. Scarlet doesn't normally like mayo, but she likes sushi mayo, so. And my lunch, I've got a little bit of that stir fry packet mix, and I mixed some shredded lettuce in with it. I've got some cucumber, tomato, corn, avocado, and some chicken. And I've just put my little container of my honey um, uh, I don't know what it is, just a nice dressing. It's got honey mustard and um, whole grain mustard and honey, olive oil. I think I showed you before. Um, I've also got some corn in here. I don't know if I said that. But these look so good. So I made one for tomorrow's lunch. And this one is for today. I totally forgot to vlog last night's dinner. I was so tired because I'd been up since 3 in the morning. So I was just kind of like... I changed it up a little bit. I had some cauliflower left from the night before's dinner. So I ended up doing a cauliflower cheese. And I didn't do mashed potato with the potatoes that we peeled. I did wedges. And everyone loves them ones when I do them. And we had the wrist rolls, which were really good. Everyone really loved them. So um, I was supposed to work from nine today, but we're waiting on an order to come in so we can do some prep. Um, so we've, it, the time that we're starting has been pushed back to 10.30. So I'm going to get a start on the dinner for tonight. We're having burritos. So I just use normal wraps. And then I cooked up some rice in my rice cooker, which was perfect. I did equal rice to water. And yeah, it was really good. So I've got um, raw rice cooked in the cooker was like uh, one and a third of a cup. And I've got a can of rinsed uh, and drained black beans. I've got some corn kernels out the can just drained as well can of tomatoes, a jar of salsa, a tin of tomatoes, some taco seasoning, some pepper. It didn't need salt. Obviously, there's a lot of salt in the taco seasoning. Um, and that's about it. I'm going to leave it like this in the fridge for the day. And um, when I get home from work, I'll grate some cheese into it and roll them all up and this will make heaps and the meat that's in here is pork and this was just a little piece that like i said to you before in my vlogs i've just when i've done a roast i've just literally taken the smallest piece of meat off the end of it and this meal would cost probably like well under twenty dollars for the whole meal and that's including two packets of wraps and i'm going on about eight bucks for those so it's a pretty cheap meal and everybody loves it and we're going to have sour cream with them. Just finished doing dinner. All the burritos are done. It ended up making 14. I've got another pile on the tray in the oven still. And we're just going to have sour cream with them. They're absolutely delicious. And hubby and the older boy will be able to have one for lunch tomorrow. So that's cool. And we're using the special plates tonight. Hudson, you can do the dishes. Yay! Uh, we're, using, we're using these for plates. You want to wash the dishes? Yeah. I think I want that. <laughs> <laughs> How many do you can you eat? Two or one? Three. <laughs> I don't eat three. How reckon you'll be full after one and a two, half? Two, two, two. Do you reckon you'll do two for ones? They're pretty big ones, these ones. Two for ones? Yeah. Do you reckon you'll eat two for ones? Yeah, yeah. Mm, let's see. I thought you said forms. Nah. I just got back from the shop. I just got some little yogurt, strawberry ones marked on clearance. It's got such a name care that it's got a lot of stuff on there. And I got some more of these little dressings. I had a lot of the steam and stuff all pretty much half price. I also got this cool little lunch box to Hado that folds flat like that. And then you un velcro those open up the lid and it opens up like a full square lunch box and it's got the zip that goes around it it's got a little handle really really nice you've got that 
I got three boxes of decaf cappuccinos. I got two of the hazelnut lattes. I've got another carton of eggs. I've got some of these crispy bacon chips. So the last ones left. There wasn't a lot of flavours left actually of the chips. I got chicken twisties for hubby. And I picked up the Fresh Ideas magazine as well. Got some cereal. And I also got some cold sore complex. We've got a nice big cold sore at the moment, so that's lovely. And I got some glucosamine for hubby. These relieve symptoms of mild arthritis, relieves mild joint aches and pains, and supports joint mobility. These were. Um, well, these were half price, they were 10 bucks, and the cold sore tablets were $7.25. So I spent like 58 bucks all up. So, not too bad. This is the leftover suicide from the other night's dinner. So I just wrapped it up in two separate bits of um, glad wrap and just wrote the date and put what's in there. And I'll just freeze it and it will be for lunches. I've got pretty much, um, so we had a, one meal out of it and I already made six rolls and this will make another four, eight, another eight lunches, so uh, eight, nine, ten, eight, twelve, twenty. So fourteen, fourteen lunches and a dinner for twenty dollars. So it's well worth what I paid. Very good. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole. I am making some lemon chicken. It's actually called slow cooker lemon chicken. It is in the July issue of the Fresh magazine that you get for free from Woolworths. So I thought I'd give it a go. I've just chopped up 1.2 kilos of chicken thighs. I pretty much chopped them into three bits. And in the bowl, I put two tablespoons of just some Italian dressing, some salt and pepper, and I put about four tablespoons of the crushed garlic out the jar. And I'm just browning little batches off in my Instant Pot. And I'm going to cook the whole thing in here. I'm not going to do it in the slow cooker. It's a little bit late in the day. So we didn't have lunch till late. It's made some nice toasty. So I thought if I cook it in here, it'll be a lot quicker. It's smelling really good already. And over this side, I've got two chicken stock cubes. I'm just going to put these in this hot cup of water. i just boil the jug. And I am juicing two lemons. How oh, it's hard to bring me two lemons off the tree and this is what he bought me a huge one and a baby one so I've already zested one that was a pretty big decent size one sorry oh so sour I might just see how juicy this one is I think half would probably be enough and I also I took all the zest off the big one that's why it looks a bit weird so I'm just going to brown all the chicken I put the liquid in, so that was the chicken stock, lemon juice and all the lemon zest. And I just put a cup of cream in this measuring cup and whatever was left in the bottle of cream, just drizzled into here. So I'm just going to let that cook for a little while. And then I'm going to, actually I'm going to have to put that in something else because it's going to overflow down the handle. But I'm going to mix in about two tablespoons of corn flour into the cream and that will go in after to thicken it up and I've just rinsed quite a bit of rice and I've rinsed it quite a few times to get the starch out of it I've put about a teaspoon of salt in here I've covered it to about the first knuckle or joint rather on my finger and I'm just going to bring it up to the boil and pretty much just keep it going until all the water is down to pretty much just nothing sort of on top. I'll show you when it gets there. So this is the absorption method. So this is how the lemon chicken turned out. It's got rice underneath and it is really quite nice. Nicer than I was expecting it to be. That's pretty much what everyone said. <laughs> 